Atlanta Falcons football icon and unofficial team mascot, the Bird Lady, is breaking her silence just a few days after the anniversary of her Super Bowl scandal that left fans without a way to the big game. 41 NBC's Joy Duke shows us what happened after the headlines hit. Joy. Michael, last year, Carolyn Bird Lady Freeman went from adored Falcons superfan to public enemy number one after her plans to take dozens of people to Houston for the Super Bowl fell through. It cost her endorsements, friends, and more than anything else, her reputation. I caught up with Freeman in a one on one interview, and in true Bird Lady fashion, she says she's flying higher than ever before. It's a story you'll see only on 41 NBC. Okay, since we last talked, Lots of things have happened. <laughs> For famed Atlanta Falcons fanatic, Carolyn Bird Lady Freeman, Super Bowl 51 was one she would never forget. And not because her team was in the game, but because of the dozens of fans who felt betrayed. I didn't even really post the activities that I did during the Super Bowl because I had death threats. It was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime for people who paid to see the Dirty Birds in Houston through Bird Lady. But that trip took a terrible turn when the buses to get there never showed. I had threats of physical violence to my life. It was horrible. It was really bad. Now, one year after the Super Bowl scandal that shocked fans and made headlines, Bird Lady opens up. I don't ever want to put myself or anyone else that trusts me in that position. But the wonderful thing about it is that the people that did, they know me. Um, there was just a couple of them that, 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 you know, are not personal friends that caused all this commotion, but the majority of those people have traveled with me before, and they weren't worried. She says 2017 was a year of hard lessons. It hurt. It hurt a lot. It hurt because a lot of people that turned on me, I thought were friends. Lessons that caused her friendships are squeaky clean image. Um, as you know, there were a lot of things that were supposed to happen for me. Um, I was the official spokesperson for Xfinity, uh, the cover of four magazines, seven magazine articles. I gave that up because I chose to spend my time getting those 24 people who had paid their money to SYI to Texas. Looking back now, she says her biggest mistake was not doing her homework on the man she blames for the whole mishap. The lesson is that I have to check everybody out. I cannot be so kind and giving and trusting. Um, I should have done more research on this guy. But through that pain and humiliation, Bird Lady managed to continue pouring into her other passion, aside from Falcons football, philanthropy. During the storm, um, Bird Lady Cares um, filled three 60-foot trucks and sent supplies down to South Florida, to Texas, and um, to Puerto Rico. We, well, I filled two airplanes to go to Puerto Rico. Despite the disappointments last year, she wants people to know she's letting her haters be her motivators. I haven't slowed down. I haven't stopped, and nothing's going to deter me from my mission. So, you know, I'm, I'm here to help people and to give back, and that's what I'm going to continue to do and support my Falcons. Because we're going to the Super Bowl next year, you know. It was a plan. Still rising up, still helping however she can, and still that same old quirky, but caring Carolyn. Everybody out! Who <laughs> Falcons fans everywhere fell in love with. A bird lady says she's looking for volunteers to get involved with her nonprofit organization, Bird Lady Cares. So if you're interested in finding out how to sign up, you can head to our website at 41NBC.com. Go ahead, head. Well, many of the projects Bird Lady is working on will directly impact people in the middle Georgia community, including her efforts for students, the elderly, and any other community members in need.